Hello everyone, welcome to DS Archives. Today we will look at the Docker engine and uh, it is a very small topic that we will cover today. Uh, we will basically cover Docker commands, some Docker commands to handle images, Docker images. So uh, for those of you who don't know what Docker is, uh, just Google it and you will find why it is used, for what it is used. Okay, so what uh, today we will do is we will look at few commands uh, quickly so you can just you don't have to find anywhere else you can uh, quickly use it so first of all uh, the installation process of docker is very simple you just follow this procedure uh, mentioned in this link uh, I will give it in the description so after following this, if you if you don't know how to, uh, if you are confused here, here, then let me just give you the brief. So this command will uninstall the old version. Then just use this first method. There are lots of method here. Uh, just use this first method. Uh, the one, two, and three steps to set up the repository and uh, these two command is for installing the Docker image. Uh, docker and uh, if you want to install any specific version of a docker then use this command otherwise uh, skip it and just run this command to check if your docker is set up or not so i have already run this command here so my docker is already set up okay so afterwards uh, what we will do is we will use tensorflow serving with docker to understand tensorflow uh, to understand docker command so for that, uh, let me just show you the basic commands. So uh, here you can already see that I have fired sudo docker container ls a. What it will do is it will list out all the container ID inside the docker with information like image command, when it was created, the its status and some names it will generate uh, randomly. So these are uh, exited docker they are not running right now so first command uh, we learned is sudo docker container ls a now let's see if uh, i want to remove all the all these images which are already ex in the exited status so for that we will just write sudo docker container and then prune and it will ask if we want to do that or not yes so two containers are removed so let's see now again to check if they are actually removed or not okay so there are no docker uh, images so uh, two commands sudo docker container ls a for listing out uh, sudo docker container prune for uh, remove all those uh, containers which are, are in the exceeded status okay let's clear the screen okay so we have seen that uh, we can use the prune command to remove all the exited container so now we will see other commands to manipulate a tensorflow serving image so I have already uh, done these things to get tensorflow serving image so let's see that so here it is my tensorflow serving image let's see some commands suppose first I need to it is already started okay so if I need to stop it it is very intuitive like we just need to use stop and then the container ID we need to paste it here so sudo docker container stop then the container ID it will stop that container okay so it is then let's see yeah it is been exited okay so let's see the restart command and start so you can just use the docker ID, uh, container id to write like start or stop or restart like that so if you want to start it again just use this 
so it is it has been started uh, then let's see if if you want to see the logs of this container id of this image then we just need to write here logs and it will give us logs so it will depend on what uh, you have done with your tensorflow serving image i have added three models on that so it is showing that okay so let's clear this uh, if you want to see if you want to inspect uh, the information about the docker then you can write here inspect to see the port and host and all that information there are so many information here you can get it and uh, my last command is sudo docker kill so we have to use it with the container id so it will kill that uh, image and the kill by me i mean it will stop the running docker so we saw how how stop work it is the same as the stop okay so uh, we learn sudo docker container ls hyphen a to list the docker images then kill and stop to stop the docker then inspect to get detailed information about the container id the logs sudo docker container logs to uh, check out the logs start stop and restart uh, to uh, perform those operations on the container id okay so those are all the commands uh, if you want to see more commands then just write sudo docker printer and uh, press enter you will see some more commands other than that i have mentioned so you can uh, see the description here and try out for yourself one another thing is that uh, how to run and docker so for example here uh, they have used docker run and then dash t dash rm and dash p dash v and hyphen e so uh, sorry it, it they are called hyphen i know so for every docker uh, container uh, you will have this different different combination of command suppose for my docker uh, i have to use this command so uh, it will be different from your application point of view so basic thing is you use sudo docker and run after that uh, anything that uh, that will be changed according to your application so that was sudo docker run also so that's it uh, those are some docker commands you can uh, use uh, if you don't want to get into too deep and just want to use docker for your application uh, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe like and share thank you